um, if we if we shift gears a little bit and talk about prioritization, um, oh. so this is something I have seen several leaders struggle with this, the ability to just prioritize in a sensible manner. Um, so you put out an article a few months ago now, just nice and simple, providing a template of how you can prioritize. And I think it'd be good for our audience to just, if you could talk through that, is there anything you can advise on prioritization, why it's a challenge? And this is central to the role of a product owner as well, because mm. they are the channel of communication. Everything seems to come to them. And when it comes to prioritization, they're right in the middle of everything when it's time to prioritize. Yeah, well, look, prioritization, I think, is the biggest challenge there is um, because let, let's face it, you know, a stakeholder, even if you've just got a sales, you know, let's say the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the head of sales versus the director of finance. I mean, the finance director is typically about cutting costs and the sales guy is all about spending money. So, so how are these guys ever going to have the same priorities? Um, but of course, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm making the extreme to make a point. But uh, in, in reality, those challenges are absolutely at the top, at the board, um, where there are differences of opinion and, and what's necessary around the business. And, and obviously, those things need to drive into the, the product. And uh, I remember the article you're, you're referring to. I mean, that, that was really on a, a particular example where I had exactly that problem. We had so many board members that just had completely differing views of where the product should be going, what we should be prioritizing first, how we would actually, you know, sort of move this forward. And we were at an absolute stalemate. And, and the easiest way to actually resolve that was that we put a tiny little spreadsheet together. It was tiny, literally a column for each of the stakeholders and a row for each of the actual uh, uh, um, ideas or, the, or the, the pieces of work, you know, what should we prioritize? And we just got them to order it one to 10 uh, by putting their number in uh, between one to 10. And you can imagine the simplistic maths there by, by adding up the numbers across the rows, we can see collectively how we would actually sort of come to a prioritization across the board. Now, the most important thing here was not necessarily the actual mechanism. It was about communicating to the audience the problems and it was about everybody understanding that this was probably one of the easiest ways to solve the problem. And, and you had to get buy-in for this uh, uh, whole process before we actually uh, uh, made them do it. You know, it was almost, yes, I agree. And as a board should do, you know, uh, uh, what, what happens in the boardroom, you know, whatever happens, discussions go in the boardroom, challenges, you come out with a group decision and that must be the decision and you all support it. And so, so getting that buy-in was, uh, um, you know, sort of fundamental before doing the exercise. Uh, I will say the exercise worked and, and I was very lucky. There was a, a quote from the CEO uh, a, a few weeks later and the quote was, you've actually done more in two weeks than this company's achieved in two years. And it was all about just being able to, you know, sort of get some sense into some of these people and, and have a simplistic mechanism that enabled us to all move forward in an agreed way uh, um, as, as one, really. Yeah.